At the end of a season of high drama, it was case of lull after storm when the crews on the OCR Euro Tour awoke on the final day of their brief visit to Gibraltar for the finals. Although some of the residents didn't seem too bothered, the championship had been settled 24 hours earlier following a fearsome battle with Derek Basham and his co-driver Rob Perry just pipping Ian Sterling with his right-hand man A.D. Dickinson to the post. But the business wasn't all done. One final race would decide which crew would become Gibraltar Festival Champions. Points from that will be added to results from the two championship rounds to determine who will lift the prestigious title. Ian Sterling, who lost out so narrowly to Derek Basham in the championship stakes, was among the favourites. But it was Ian Blacker and co-driver Stuart Porter who took all the glory in the first of the accountable races, romping home ahead of Basham and Sterling. The final race of the Euro Tour was the second heat of the Gibraltar Championship. And although it was rough for everyone, it was rougher on some than on others. Ian Mackman and John Rusby's bid ended right here. Sterling and Dickinson have their minds firmly focused on becoming tour winners, although a good result in this race will enable them to start Saturday's final in good shape alongside Basham and Perry. Steve Masterman and Barry Craig, number 12, are also in with a shout. A solid six in the last race, plus a third here, provides the necessary points. But it's Sterling's scary moment in this race that provides a pivotal point to both championships. Basham is quick to make game, and although Sterling manages eventually to retrieve his helmet and continue the fight, it is only a matter of time before his bravery is thwarted by his misfortune. Basham steals the championship from under his nose and puts himself in pole position to do the double. If he can add the Festival Cup to his trophy cabinet. With one race to go, Bob Baker becomes the dark horse. Like Sterling, after losing out in the championship, this is his last opportunity for end of season glory. There is a remarkably good turnout for the third and final race for the Gibraltar Cup, given that realistically only three boats are in with a genuine chance of lifting it. Sea conditions are similar to those in round two, and Sterling, number 15, grabs the early lead. Behind, Mastman, number 12, and Padel, 13, engage in one of those little head-to-head -head confrontations, which are the heart and soul of the sport. Neither has anything particular to gain from 30 minutes of relentless pounding, and, of course, comparative comfort, but pride, on the other hand, is everything. Sterling, Putting the previous day's disappointment behind him is also making the point. Fourth in the third race is Bob Baker. And that's not good enough at this point to end the season with a fanfare. Blacker's retirement in race two also reduces him to the unaccustomed title of also ran. Brett Dancy, number 27, is next, closely followed by Bob McCarthy and Roy Trott in the Bernica. More importantly, though, for Sterling, Basham is not in the top six. Away from the issue of overall winner, Fidel and Masterman continue the argument that will determine who's got the best Phantom 19. Fidel holds a speed record, but Masterman finished well ahead of him in the championship. Here, everything's just about even. With the benefit of another look, watch the concentration of both drivers and the co-driver's ongoing job of bailing out with the bilge pub.
still behind on points and in the race. It's time for Bob Baker to give up on any hope of titles in the millennium year. Time for Brett Dancy and the rest to look back at a season that has produced so many good moments among the frustrating ones. But it's also a year that comes to an end on a happy note for Sterling and Dickinson. Basham and Perry are unable to recover from that poor start. And the crew who watched one championship disappear out of the window yesterday can celebrate success on the final day. With Masterman and Craig winning the Battle of the 19 Phantoms. Comfortable in the end then, but far from comfortable out on the water. Ian Sterling and A.D. Dickinson end their first season in the new 18-foot boat in fine style. It's been a difficult year for the sport, and yet there is so much for it to celebrate.